activity, an object, whatever. Specifically, something that has a significant meaning to you, but perhaps not to other people. Maybe that painting you made when you were a kid, or going to your grandparents every weekend. Now, imagine you get to wear that thing as, an, as a part of your parents forever, like on a poster in big red letters for everybody to see. That's what it's like for me, every day. Not just me, but all my African-American brothers and sisters who wear their head full of beautiful, exotic hair. My hair is my identity. Now, I want to clarify that what our hair truly means to us is not the same as getting your nails painted every Tuesday or playing Fortnite with every weekend with your boys. It's more so a process of dedication, hard work, effort, time, money, and pain. Yes, I can speak from experience that getting tightly curled hair brushed through is not the most pleasant experience. To elaborate, for me, I don't just wake up and whip a brush through my hair in a matter of minutes. For me, for me, I have to sit down and get my hair brushed thoroughly in perhaps a half hour or so. Yes, I love my hair, but at times I feel like my hair doesn't love me, and I'm sure I was kind of several conversations with my family about how sometimes I wish my hair was as easy to handle as my friends, but I'm learning to love it with all its imperfections. A few weeks ago, a teacher asked me a simple yet meaningful question. I had gotten my hair done with extensions, which took, which took four hours straight through. I kept track of time. He asked if it hurt, and I responded with yes. Then he asked, why do you do this? Why would you go through such a long, tiring process if you're just going to get it taken out again? That was a valid question, one that I'm guessing lots of people have wondered but never asked. I'll tell my friends how long my hair takes to style, and I can almost see their heads turning with questions. It took that much time? You still have a headache from those braids? Really, you're going to miss out the birthday party just because you're getting your hair styled again? The reason I go through this for, is for one, self-expression. My hair reflects who I am at the time. My hairstyles from when I was younger have changed to my hairstyles today because the way I want to express myself has changed. When I was about seven, I would have my hair cornrow with small different powdered, be powdered and colored beads. When I was about 10, I decided to switch it up and get my hair straightened or in box braids. Now I experiment with all types of different styles, such as extensions, and once in a while, just going natural. And this is also my natural hair, but it's all my curl too. Um, <clears throat> as I mature, so does how I want people to see me. Then there's a social aspect of it. Whether I get it done by a sister, brother, parent, barber, or friend, there's just something to simply put it beautiful about it. Storytelling, laughter, life lessons being learned, music, watching our movies and discussing school, a time to be with each other, not just be in each other's presence. I've learned that with great hair comes even greater community. Now, Obviously, I'm not the only African American with these hair experiences, but there tend to be certain things about our hair that we know and do, but other people just don't realize. According to Lucia Prinzi's of All Things Hair, African Americans spend 35% of their income on styling project, products and hair products. My parents can confirm that. Usually, a fraction of the target orders are just hair products for me and my siblings. If someone is willing to spend a good amount of their earned money on something specific, then it's pretty important to them. Prinzi also states that the natural hair care market is estimated to have a growth rate of 4.7% annually from 2019. This may not seem that drastic, but the key word is annually. I remember when I was in about third grade, 2018, my house's hair product cabinet was minimal. At the time, there just wasn't as much hair products for African Americans. Though now, our cabinet is full of different types of oils, brushes, shampoos, and so on. Interesting how things can progress 
or for just a couple of years. Finally, the popularity of natural African American hair can be verified on social media. On Instagram alone, there are currently 34 million posts tagged under natural hair. This nowadays is significant. Since social media is becoming a known platform for expression, expressing a wide variety of subjects, some subjects can be brought to the spotlight. In this case, African American natural hair. Now, I would like to point out that these statistics are averages. There is not a book that tells African Americans how much money to spend on products or how many, how many pictures on Instagram have to be tagged under natural hair. Each African American is different, and how they view or take care of their hair is different too. Now, while these statistics about African American hair are important, I want to discuss how people around me think of their hair. Recently, I sent out a survey to all the seventh graders at Deep Year MS. The questions included were how much time is spent on their hair every day, and how many people like their hair in general. The results were intriguing and also surprising. This is a pie chart of the results I got. The pink, the pink means one to three, which is they don't really like their hair that much. The four to six is that they somewhat like their hair. And the seventh attack is that they really like their hair. I thought this was extremely surprising. Uh, I can speak from experience that being a middle schooler is not always the easiest. People doubting themselves and such. This tends to happen with looks. Not skinny enough. Not pretty enough. Not tall enough. But the fact that most of the seventh graders at Deep Year MS like their hair, a physical aspect, and are content with how it looked, made me want to dig deeper in what this talk is really about. On that note, on that note I've, I've noticed how people's confidence changes along with their hair. This is not referring to just African Americans, but all different people overall. A student in my grade recently got his hair cut to a drastically shorter style than what he had before. Before, he had long hair that covered his face. I asked what his thoughts are on how hair and confidence are related. He said, it honestly depends on how you style your hair. Before, when my hair was long, it kind of covered my face. It made me less confident in it because I never really saw my face as often, so seeing it was always a shock. Now, with my hair short, I see it daily, so so I'm able to see how my face actually looks. I find it truly intriguing how hair can have such an impact on people. If you may, think of your own experiences with hair. Whether looking back at your old middle school pictures and coming across an embarrassing picture of you and your mullet, or a dyeing it against your parents' will, how has your hair impacted you personally? Now, Winding back to African American hair, the evolution of hair dates back thousands and thousands of years. According to Teo Barrio, the author of the, author of the article Decoding the History of Black Hair, hair was looked at as personal identification during pre-colonial African societies. In fact, each tribe had its own specific hairstyle, which still remains today in different parts of Africa. Women, in specific, change their hair according to their daily activities. Whether giving birth or waiting for their husband to come back home, they would have their hair styled. When women were mourning over a person's death, she would adopt a toned-down hairstyle, says journalist Tori Tharps, who co-wrote the book Hair Story. This was so important during the time that if one didn't have their hair styled for the, for the events, others assumed that they were mentally ill. Though it's not as drastic today in African America, the importance of hair is still ingrained in African American culture. Now, you may all be sitting here and wondering why am I talking to you about this. I took this time away from your day not in hopes that you're going to understand, but in hopes that you are now educated on African American hair. My hair is an extension of who I am and what I stand for. Even as I grow up and change into the person people 
will remember me as, my love for my hair and African American hair in general will always remain consistent. Thank you and have a terrific day.